Cork Harbour, half past two on the 12th of July. Absolutely beautiful day with a lovely sea breeze from the south blowing about 78 knots. In the distance in the foreground is Ahada, the village of Ahada. And to the left of that, between the houses you can see and the land in the distance is the area of Ross Dellen. Where Sail Cork are out sailing today and where the tradition of sailing as a sport began in Ireland back in the 1660s. So a great tradition being carried on afloat. Um, in the foreground here below us is the pilot boat camber at the Holy Ground and Cove from where the pilots uh, are brought to the ships. Um, in the distance behind it you can see the chimney of the Ahada power station. In fact there's two gas powered power stations there and to the right of that is the village of Whitegate which is behind the red ship. And moving on to the right is the Spit Lighthouse and behind that is the Whitegate oil refinery uh, with the jetty behind the ship. And moving on the hill is Fort Carlisle which is still in military hands and was one of the forts that guarded Cork Harbour in the past. In the very distance on the left hand side you can see Roaches Point, uh, the lighthouse at the entrance to Cork Harbour. And you can see the horizon in the distance and if you kept on going in a southerly direction for nearly 500 miles you'd get to La Coruña in Spain. In front of us here the Green Island is Spike Island and behind that is the village of Crossaven. And to the right of Spike, behind it you can see the trees of Corabini Wood. And coming into view now is Hall Bolan Island, uh, the home of the Irish Naval Service. And behind Hall Bolan is Ringeskiddy uh, with the ferry terminal and currently in port is the Swansea Cork Ferry and the Roscoff Ferry in France comes in on Saturdays. And then there's a channel between Hall Bolan and White Point in Cove where ships can carry on upriver to Ringeskiddy or to Cork. And the town of Cove with its famous St Colman's Cathedral bathed in sunlight and the land looking very verdant where having had so much rain this summer. But we're happy today because it's an absolutely stunning day with plenty of sunshine and a beautiful sea breeze here in Cork Harbour.